Hey there guys, how's it going? It's Paleo Draw here, and welcome to another episode of Prehistoric Animal of the Month. February's prehistoric animal is Postosuchus. This was suggested by Rochelle Louis, I think that's how you pronounce it, and Brontosaurus Believers. Postosuchus was an ancient Rawi Suchin, discovered in 1980 by paleontologists of the Texas Tech University. Rawi Suchins are a group of large carnivorous archosaurs that look like crocodiles that really want to be dinosaurs when they grew up. The holotype remains, also known as the first found remains, consisted of several bones including a very well-preserved skull. Over time, some of these bones would be attributed to other animals, like Shuvasaurus and Proposaurus. Still, the skull was indicative of a large apex predator roaming the lands of Texas. Later on, Postosuchus remains would be found all over the United States, including North Carolina and New Mexico. These remains would shed light on new parts of Postosuchus anatomy, as well as its diet, since fossilized gut contents were also found. This discovery showed that Postosuchus ate a variety of animals, including herbivorous reptiles, small mammals, and even amphibians. In other words, they weren't picky, and it certainly didn't have any reason to be. Its jaws were extremely powerful, so it could kill just about anything it wanted to. Its back was also covered in osteoderms, which were bony structures that formed scoots, similar to those on crocodiles. As for locomotion, there have been several debates on how Postosuchus got around. Its giant head would have led to a lot of weight being put on the front, requiring strong support for long distance travel. Its rear feet were also larger than the ones in the front, suggesting they carried the most of their weight. It's definitely possible that Postosuchus may have been both bipedal and quadrupedal, depending on the situation. It may have been a predatory adaptation, allowing it to rear a pie and crush the windpipes or spinal cord of its prey which is not a good way to go if you ask me. They lived in mostly tropical areas, filled with ferns and cycads, similar to the environments found in New Zealand. It shared its home with a slew of animals that can only be described as a little bit funky and a little bit chunky. Some of these weirdos include Leptosuchus, Placerius, Desmatosuchus, and Coelophysis. Plesosuchus got its first big debut in the documentary Walking with Dinosaurs, where it's shown as a pursuit predator, letting its prey bleed out before eating it. While it certainly could have done this, it's much more capable of short bursts or even galloping to ambush prey. This is better shown in the documentary Dinosaurs Alive, where it's depicted as being much more agile. And that wraps it up for February's Prehistoric Animal. As always, make sure to leave your critter suggestions in the comments for a chance to get a shout out in future episodes. And also come hang out in the Discord, where cool nerds talk about cool nerd stuff. Love y'all, and as always, keep your pencils sharp. Mm -hmm.